Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to talk about complementary and supplementary angles. Two angles are complementary if the sum of their angle measure is 90 degrees or pi over 2 radians. And one important thing to note here is that when we say two angles, the measures of these angles must be positive. So the angle measures here, angle measures must be positive, which indicates to us that these angles must both be acute. Okay, also two angles are supplementary if their angle measure adds up to 180 degrees or pi radians. And again, the angle measures have to be positive, they must be greater than zero. Let's look at some examples. We wanna find the complement and the supplement of each angle, if possible. Okay, so to find the complement, remember this angle plus something else, plus question mark, has to equal pi over two. So what we're looking at is pi over three, plus x is equal to pi over two. To get x by itself, we're gonna subtract pi over three from both sides. We have two fractions. What do we need if we wanna subtract fractions? We need a common denominator. The common denominator or a common multiple of two and three, the smallest one that I know is six. So I wanna rewrite each of these with a denominator of six. So I'm gonna multiply this one by three over three, and I'll multiply this one by two over two. So now I have x is equal to three pi minus two pi all over our common denominator of six. That's gonna give me one pi over six or just pi over six. So the complement of pi over three is pi over six. What about the supplement? So the supplement pi over three plus something is equal to pi. And this one we can almost do in our head. I should probably label that this is the complement. Well, I can't erase it, sad day. Okay, I'm just gonna put a C there. Let's complete this. This is one whole pi. We have one third of a pi. How much pi do we need to complete the whole? We would need two thirds, right? I have one third. I need to get to one whole pi, which would be three thirds. So that indicates to us the supplement is going to be two pi over three. And that's what we would do to find the complement and supplement. Pi over six and two pi over three are both positive angles and they're both acute angles. So we know we're on the right track and that they, it is possible. How about if we have pi over 12? So the complement for pi over 12 would be pi over 12 plus this amount is equal to pi over two. I'm gonna subtract pi over 12 from both sides. And I need a common denominator. The, a common multiple of two and 12 is 12. So I'm gonna multiply this one by six over six. That will give me six pi over 12. So I would have x is equal to six pi over 12 minus one pi over 12, which would be six pi minus pi. That would be five pi over 12. So the complement to five to pi over 12 would be five pi over 12. Put that over here. How would we find the supplement? Well, the supplement would be pi over 12 plus this. Maybe I should do y. Oh, it's letting me erase now, that's nice. Different variable here is equal to one whole pi. So I have one pi over 12 and I need a whole pi, which would be 12 pi over 12. How many more? Twelfths do I need? I need 11 pi more. So I'm just using a shortcut for that, um, but of course you can find a common denominator here, put pi over, what would be 12 pi over 12, and subtract and you're gonna end up with 11 pi over 12. Now, one thing that comes up, is this isn't necessarily super difficult, except it is fractions, which can be annoying. Not annoying, just an added adventure. Um, but knowing the difference between a complement and a supplement. So most people know that it's pi and pi over two and 90 and 180, but how do you know which one's which? Well, because remember, complements add up to 90 and 90 is a right angle. And if you complement someone, you're always right. Get it, get it, see what I did there? So complement 90, complement 90. It doesn't quite work with supplement. Uh, if you supplement someone, you're not always 180. That doesn't quite work. But you can think of supplement creates a straight angle so that at least we have like the alliteration of the S's there, supplement straight angle. Complement, you're always right. Two more examples. We want to find the complement and supplement of each angle. Now we're in degrees. So remember for complement, we're adding up to 90 degrees. And for supplement, they need to add up to 180 degrees. So we have 98 degrees. The complement here, wait a minute. What's gonna add up with 98 to make 90? That's gonna be something negative, right? It'd be 98 plus, and then I need a negative eight to equal 90 degrees. But remember what I said earlier on, that the, the angles have to have positive measures. So that indicates to us that 90 degrees has no complement. Oh, 
Sad day. What about the supplement? Does it have a supplement? Well, 98 plus some degree measure equals 180. I subtract 98 from both sides, and I get that the supplement is 180 minus 98. That would be 82 degrees. That's okay. That's a nice positive measure. So we have a supplement, but no complement, 82 degrees. How about 17.6 degrees? That would be 17.6 plus our complement is equal to 90 degrees. Subtract 17.6 from both sides. And we're going to end up with a complement of, it looks like it's going to be 72.4 degrees. That's positive. It's cute. It exists. Yay. And how about our supplement? The supplement will be 17.6 plus this amount adds up to 180 degrees. If we subtract 17.6 from both sides, we end up with a supplement of 162.4 degrees. So we have a complement and a supplement for that particular angle measure. This has been a video on finding complements and supplements of angles. Thank you for stopping by.